All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. Let's take a look at our subscription goal. We are sitting at almost 9,300. We need 700 more subs to hit that 10K goal to give that $1,000 giveaway. And then we have 12K subs coming up to send a couple people to some games of their choice. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. Dennis Burns is at the top. We have Kellen on this week. He's doing a great job so far, but that is the leaderboard right now. If you see if you see your guys' name, reach out to us. Bears Profit plays at gmail.com or on Twitter, Bears Profit at Bears Profit. And we need to get you guys set up. So we can give you guys your picks out for the next couple of weeks. If you see your name, make sure you reach out. Also, if you want to become a member on our YouTube channel, we're going to be giving away $50 weekly to our members on YouTube. We have 15 to 20 right now. So if you become a member for just $4.99 a month, you have a chance to win $50 weekly. We're going to be doing that on our live show. We're going to put everybody on the wheel. We're going to spin it and give away $50 a week. So make sure you guys come check that out. Only $4.99 a month. Very cheap over there. And our plays are actually better over there as well. So guys, is going to do it. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get some NCAA basketball picks and props for Saturday, December 23rd, slate of games. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. I can start us off. Yeah, guys, I am 0-0 at the moment. Gave out one of the later games, BYU, minus 26.5 versus Bellarmine. I have a lot of confidence in BYU. They're really good. They might win the Big 12 this year. Watch out. Yeah, we're recording really early. I've got Baylor minus 37.5 going up against Mississippi Valley State. That should be a thumping by Baylor to get back on track. So hopefully we can win that one. Hopefully we can sweep the board. Trey, let's look at the plays for tomorrow. Have you start us off. Yeah, guys, I'm going to be attacking this Missouri State going up against St. Mary's game here. And this should be a very fun game to watch. Both teams, they've actually been playing some great basketball this season because Missouri State, they enter this game with an 8-4 and four record. And they're also 7-4-1 and one ATS this season. But they have not won a single road game this year. They're 0-4 on the road. And St. Mary's, they come this game with an 8-5 record. But they're 5-6 and six ATS. But they play some great basketball at home with a 6-2 and two home record. I really love St. Mary's in this game. They're just the better team, and they're playing at home. Whenever I was researching earlier St. Mary's, they were at minus 8.5. Now they're at minus 11.5. It doesn't scare me. I'm still going to take them here. They should be able to easily win this game by double digits and then cruise to an easily – and then just cruise to an easy victory because St. Mary's, they have some great wins this season. They've beat UNLV, New Mexico, and Colorado State already this season. And the games that they have lost were against San Diego State, Xavier, Utah – and Boise State, so all great teams. And in their wins, they have just been whooping teams too because in their eight wins, they're winning those games by an average score of 79 to 52. Their defense has just been elite this season, and that should continue here in this home game. Missouri State, they have a bottom 100 offense, and they have to travel all the way across the country to California to play this game. So give me St. Mary's here, minus 11.5 versus Missouri State. That's right. I like that one. For my play today, I'm going to be looking at a top 15 match between FAU and Arizona. I'm going to take Arizona to cover the spread whenever the line comes out. I do think that FAU is a very good team this season. They might even make another run in the March Madness tournament. But Arizona, in my mind, is the best team in the nation. They're currently ranked fourth in the nation, but they have a great roster with great guard play and massive size in the paint. They're scoring 93 points per game, and they have proven that if they need to, they can play some defense as well. We saw that against Alabama in their last game, but most of the games that they play, they just simply outscore teams, and I do think that's going to be the case in this game as well because FAU, they can score. I just don't think they can keep up with Arizona. Arizona in the offseason through the transfer portal just went out and got the best players from some of the best teams in the nation to come play for them. They took Johnson away from the Final Four San Diego State team, the leading scorer on the team. They took Caleb Love away from North Carolina, the leading scorer on the team. And they just combined them with the great players they already had at the program. This is a fantastic team, and I think they win this game fairly easily. So I'm going to take them to cover the spread against FAU whenever do we got a spread. We have at minus six and a half. Six and a half. I'll take Arizona minus six and a half as the play. Zach, what do you like tomorrow? I like the Ole Miss Rebels over the Southern Rebels. Miss Golden Eagles. Uh, the Ole Miss Rebels are undefeated at 11-0 and 0 on the season, and uh, this would make this a top 25, um, at least, game. Uh, Ole Miss coming in at 25 in the rankings this week. Uh, the game is at Southern Miss, but I still don't think that's going to be uh, – I don't think the home crowd is going to have any kind of impact on the ways of Matthew Morrell. He's uh, averaging about 34.3 minutes a game and getting 16 one points per game off of that. He had 18 last game and they just seem to be surging. They also have Alex Flanagan, who's also uh, getting about 17 points a game. So a lot of those guys are getting uh, the ball. They're sharing the ball really well. They're scoring, they're playing defense. So give me the goal, Ole Miss Rebels to cover the spread against the Southern Miss Golden Eagles. I like it, Zach Trey. Let's look at the player props. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, my game has not started yet. I give out Terrence Shannon Jr. over 18 half points versus Missouri. I have a lot of confidence in this play, guys. He's a 20-piece nugget just waiting to be eaten. So he's going to be uh, scoring a lot of buckets here in this game. 
Yeah, and I gave out Ray J. Dennis over his assist going up against Mississippi Valley State. Game starts in about two or three hours. Haven't seen a line yet, so hopefully we do get a line for him because I think he's going to go way over his assist total tonight. But, guys, take a look at the plays for tomorrow. Trey, have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to be going with Yoel Serrano mm-hmm. here to go under his PRAs versus UConn. I really love this under for Serrano here in this game. Yes, he's been an absolute monster for St. John's this season, but he's getting a very tough matchup here versus UConn because UConn, they play a ton of of big guys in the lineup and they're pretty good at defensively as well. They have two guys that play significant minutes that are above seven foot and their starting power forward checks in at six foot 10. So they have a ton of size that they could use to throw out you well. So he's going to have a pretty long night here. Not to mention the fact that UConn, they only allow 29.2 rebounds per game, fourth lowest in college basketball. There's not going to be a lot of opportunities for this guy to make impact plays throughout this game, even though, yes, like I said, he's having a monster season, averaging 30.6 PRAs per game. And I think it's like a 15 and 15 average, but I just do not think that he's going to reach 25 plus PRAs here in this game. Just smash the under whatever it comes out at. Give me Yoel Serrano to go under his PRAs versus UConn. Yeah, Troy, I really like that one there. Uh, For my play, and I'm going to take Caleb Love over his total points going up against FAU. Both these teams, like I said earlier, can score the ball. Arizona scoring 92.3 points per game. FAU scoring 83.5 points per game. This should be a very high-scoring game. So I'm going to take the best uh, player on the floor, Caleb Love, to go over his total points. Love, like I mentioned before, is a transfer from North Carolina, and his last name is Love, and he does love to shoot the ball. He's shooting the most on this Arizona team by a wide margin, putting up 124 shots through 10 games this season. With the volume of shots that he takes, you would hope that he's the leading scorer, and he is the leading scorer. He's averaging 15.5 points per game, shooting 41% from the field. He should have a good matchup in this one against FAU. I think these teams are going to want to run the entire game, and Love is one of the guys in the nation that can put up 30-plus points on any given night. I think he's going to have a very good opportunity in this game to at least score 20-plus points, so I'm going to take him to go over his total points as my play. Zach, who do you like tonight? I like uh, this young man out of the University of Alabama, Mark Sears. Uh, He's averaging about 20.4 points per game, uh, which is about 15th in the nation. He's also getting about 54.5% field goal percentage. So uh, pretty good shooter, probably the main uh, best player on the court. Uh, This season, he is at home averaging about 19 points. So pretty consistent with his performance across the season. Uh, They take on the Eastern Kentucky Colonels. Uh, So make sure you pound the over on this Alabama game, and I'll take Mark Sears over his normal point total for this game. And Trey, where did Mark Sears go to college two years ago? Um, He went to college at Ball State. Mm -hmm. Very close. Very close. You want to try again? He went to college at Ohio. Very good. Very good. He's an Ohio Bobcat. He's got that Mac blood. He is a baller. I love that play, Zach. Trey, let's take a look at the graphic. How do you start us off? A failed trivia, guys. Roast me in the comments. But today I am going with St. Mary's here, minus 11.5 versus Missouri State. Whenever I was researching it, it was at minus 8.5. Who knows what it'll be at by tip off? Just hammer it whenever you watch this video. Go to DraftKings Fandle. Just smash it. They're going to cover. Also going with Yoel Serrano under his PRAs versus UConn. Guy's a stud. But at the end of the day, talking about matchups here and he's getting a tough one versus UConn on their big tall trees yeah I'm going with Caleb Love over his points against FAU should be a fast paced high scoring game so I love that overplay for him probably gonna get it at 15 and a half and then I like Arizona minus six and a half against FAU that the better team I think they're the best team in the nation right now so I'm gonna take Arizona against the spread going up against FAU guys that's gonna do it for NCAA basketball plays and props for Saturday December 23rd slate of games if you guys enjoy the content please sure to drop a like in this video and subscribe to the channel below see you guys next video and thanks for watching We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to youtube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month, a little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 